short and sweet. We start with a polygon sphere. I scale it down a little and move it to the side. Pressing D or the insert key gives me the pivot. I snap it to the center of the grid. For snapping I hold down the X key. Press D or insert again to exit the pivot mode. Under the edit pull down menu you find the duplicate special command with its option box. You need the option box now. I type in 60 degrees in the rotation Y axis, that's the upward axis, and change the number of copies from 1 to 5. After selecting all six spheres which I have now, I use the same command, but this time translation, not rotation, in Y. Two copies. Why not scale the upper ones down a little? Now a polygon cylinder enters the scene. I scale it in a way that it is in contact with all 18 spheres. Finally, I select the cylinder first and then all the spheres. We want to subtract the spheres from the cylinder. Mathematically, we calculate cylinder minus the spheres. I invoke the boolean difference command for that, which is located under the mesh menu. You need to be in the modeling mode for this. Done. 